In this video, we are going to look at declaring variables in JavaScript. Now, uh, first order of business is actually understanding what a variable is. Now, a variable in computer science refers to a location where you could store stuff like uh, numbers or text or actual other functions that do stuff. And these actual locations are basically elements that you name and you assign them a value. So let's actually get right to it. I'm starting here with a very bare bones um, HTML document and when you want to write any kind of JavaScript inside of a HTML element you need the script tag. So I'm opening and closing it and now let me get to the actual meat and potatoes defining the or declaring the variable. So first we'll start with VAR which in JavaScript says variable and now I'm going to name something I'm going to name this variable and I'm really going to name it anything I want so I'll name it my paycheck and then I'm going to equals and now I have to assign my paycheck a value now my paycheck has a lot of zeros one two three one two three that's about a million dollars um, this is my paycheck and my pipe dreams but that's a different story altogether anyway what I've done here is I've defined a value for this element called paycheck variable of 1 million, the actual numeric value. Now, while this is a number, let me show you how you define uh, like a name or something, which is considered a string variable because you have a string of text characters in there. We still start off the same way with var and we'll go my name. The only difference is we're going to use quotes around our element. You could use like single or double quotes for string values but it's a good practice to pick one or the other and kind of stick with it throughout all your code so don't mix and match and I'll go my name and Dragos Bogdan now basically here I have two elements my paycheck and my name two variables that are assigned values by me and you know you can do all sorts of stuff with these uh, the most basic thing you could do is like add them up. So if I were to go alert and do my paycheck plus my paycheck, what you're going to expect to see is 2 million. And there you have it. The browser actually took that million dollars, or that million, no dollars rather, took that million and just added it to itself giving you two million. Now um, slightly different functionality when dealing with strings is that when you put a string plus a string because obviously it's not a numeric value what it just ends up doing is adding those two together in one big longer string like you see here. So uh, the, the main difference between a string variable and a numeric variable obviously is that uh, you're limited with the amount of arithmetic you could execute on each one of them. 